I've written this book. I, I never st- write another book until I c- I'm in a position to push things on. Obviously, I have to include dots that I always include. Otherwise, sure. people don't see how the new stuff fits into the whole picture. Right. But Saturn is the one. It's some a lot of pennies dropped while I was writing this book. And Saturn and the moon are fundamentally uh, connected. And I've already got another book coming in, in, my, in my mind, um, which is going to take it on even further because a lot of pennies have, have dropped in even in the last two weeks. Big pennies about how this uh, matrix actually is constructed and what it is. And what has been happening to me, Jack, is that um, over the last tickly six months, I'm going into states in sleep of uh, dreams that are so, so vivid. It's, it's like this world. If people talk about, and I've talked about the fact that, you know, this is in effect a form of dream. And when we're in sleep, we dream other dreams, uh, which, which don't have the limitations, of course, that this dream has. Because um, if we fall off a cliff in a dream, we wake up with, you know, in a start. Oh my goodness me! Oh, what just happened? But you're still alive. You fall off a cliff in this dream, and you're not still alive in this reality because you're programmed to believe that when that happens, you must not be with us anymore. And uh, this is why some people can walk through fire without getting burned, and most people um, would get burned. They go into another state of consciousness, which is what what basically a dream is. And these dreams have become more and more and more vivid. And as they have done so, more and more information, insight and awareness has started to form. And uh, I'm just at the cusp of going, I mean, this new book goes deeper into the rabbit hole, for sure, not least in relation to Saturn and other things. But I'm just on the cusp of going really, really deep. You know, when you you reach a point, you know that the waters are about to break in a big way. I'm at that point now. And um, it's um, it's an exciting time for me because what I've been pursuing for the last 22 years is not only what's going on, it's how we delete what's going on. And for me, what, what's happening is this matrix, which I explain in the book and, um, and will do even more in the next one because of what's happening since it went to the printers, it has created a feedback loop, if you like, with human awareness human the human mind and the the feedback loop is this and it's interesting because you kind of went in in some way earlier uh, mentioning this in terms of them telling us what's going to happen and it happens the feedback loop is the matrix in in its forms feeds us a sense of reality we believe that sense of reality and then we feed back into the matrix that sense of reality which empowers it to feed it back to us in a more powerful way so it becomes um, a receiver transmitter receiver transmitter kind of relationship where the more we believe what we are led to believe the more we empower the matrix to manifest what we have been manipulated to believe and that feedback loop has to be broken and when people start to awaken and they start to even at the level of occupy protests and and tea parties in a smaller way and and the more we move on in a much more fundamental way to see the world and reality in a different way we break that feedback we're no longer feeding back into the matrix information construct what it's feeding to us and therefore we're weakening that rather than empowering it. That is why it is so important for everybody, as many people as possible, to wake up and disconnect themselves from this, I believe what I'm told, I believe what I'm told, and question it and and, and see it in another light because you break the feedback loop. And, and so that's great. And this is why it's so important for people to wake up and wake up and wake up because it's weakening. It's weakening the power we're giving to the matrix to, to further influence us. But for me, there is an energetic code. It's I've seen this in my mind for 20 years, and it's becoming more and more and more powerful and tangible in the last few weeks. There is a code. It is like the equivalent of a combination lock to open a safe, but it's an energetic code. And that code is going to break this information construct and when it does people are going to be like sleeping beauty they're going to wake up and go what just happened because life is going to, the world and themselves is going to suddenly be perceived in very different terms now some people are many many increasing numbers of people this is already happening to them even within this this box even as you said earlier, by osmosis, the hundredth monkey syndrome almost. 
Yeah, well, that's that's basically the same thing because what you're doing is the more you awaken, and therefore in this interaction with this energetic construct I call the matrix, the more you awaken, you're putting new information, new perceptions into this construct. This is weakening the power of the construct itself which has been designed to feed us the the sense of reality little me i've got no power and all this stuff eons have been following and believing in and thus when you put this information into this construct it is there for other people to pick it up and be influenced by it and, and so everyone who awakens and everyone that awakens and everyone that awakens is, is adding this, these new ways of looking at self and life into this construct, this energy field. And thus, more and more people are getting access to more and more powerful levels of alternative ways of seeing things. And you can spontaneously suddenly see life in a different way, walking down the supermarket aisle without actually having read a book or heard anybody speak about it. Suddenly you, you get it. And this is why it's so important that people wake up, because it, it's weakening and weakening and weakening this this matrix construct which is actually feeding us a reality so that is fantastic and the more that happens the better it will be but in the end there i know i know there is a vibrational code that is going to bring this down and i'm starting to understand what this matrix is and i'm starting to understand therefore what is necessary to break its control of human perception uh, it's exciting times and um and the next four years are going to be really really at the 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 very uh, the center the heart of bringing this whole thing to an end